What's up guys, uh, this is Sunny, back with another video and today real quick I'm going to share with you guys my Apple Mac Mini uh, M1 2020 base model. I picked up this Mac Mini from b and for $639 and I think this Mac Mini is uh, great for someone who is trying to get into Apple ecosystem and you are also on a budget and you are not looking to spend like thousand to twelve hundred dollars uh, this mac mini is a perfect choice now is this mac mini perfect for my workflow all right for myself the stuff i do no and why do i say that there's a couple reason and i'll tell you guys right now first reason i like to dual boot with my workstation i need windows and I need Mac OS. I use Mac OS for, you know, my work purpose, you know, editing videos and stuff. And also I need Windows for testing games. I love playing AAA titles. So I'm always like gaming whenever I'm free. I like to play Apex Legend, Overwatch, Fortnite, CSGO, you know. So I need Windows. And one big reason, uh, cause the printer I have a uh, brother printer, this printer is a couple years old and this printer is not supported by Mac OS Big Sur. There is no uh, drivers for this printer. So I actually need uh, Windows 10 cause uh, Windows 10 still support this laser printer. So that's like one of the big reason cause I'm always printing stuff, scanning stuff. Now, one biggest reason why I can't use this Mac Mini for my workflow, cause I can't add a external graphics card. So if you are someone who need a lot of graphics power, then this Mac Mini really doesn't have enough graphics horsepower. Cause this Mac Mini comes with 8 core GPU good but you are limited by the memory you only got 8 gigs of memory if you get the base model or you get 16 gigs of memory if you get um, like uh, one model step up now why do you need more memory so I see some videos on YouTube right now they are saying you can play game with this Mac mini yes finally you can yes you can play game with this Mac mini but the biggest problem you only have 8 or 16 gigs of unified memory so let's be to say this base model right here only comes with 8 gigs of memory and i'm playing a game like fortnite okay now the game will take for graphics let's be to say 3 to 2 gigs of memory and then your system is left with like 5 or 6 gigs of memory that's not enough because I was testing Fortnite and I was testing with this Mac Mini while I was playing Fortnite 1080p medium setting and the game was freezing up, the game was keep lagging so I lowered down the settings to 720p and I still experienced the uh, freezing up and the lag and stuff and then I gave up and it was crazy when I exit the game three times I tested this when I closed the game, I had to reboot the system because the moment I closed the game, it just freeze right there. It was just stuck. I couldn't exit the game. I tried everything. I tried shortcut everything. It didn't work. So I had to hold the power button right here and part on the Mac mini and then restart. And that's how I had to do it. So don't get this Mac mini thinking like, oh, you can use this Mac mini for like triple a uh, gaming purpose no you can do light gaming but this mac mini is more for uh workstation purpose like if you're someone who use a final cut uh pro if you're someone who use x code if you're someone who use let's put this a logic pro but nothing too extreme okay yes this mac mini comes with an awesome uh m1 chip the single core performance is insane compared to my Ryzen Torch right here. My Ryzen Torch single core score I think was around 1200 
on Geekbench 5 and Mac Mini single core performance was I think around uh, 1750 so you can imagine how well this Mac Mini perform uh, you know at least with the single core performance side and the multi core performance also good now what I'm going to do with this Mac Mini? Am I going to sell this Mac Mini? No, I'm keeping this Mac Mini because I only paid $639 for this Mac Mini and I personally think this Mac Mini for $699 if you are buying from uh, Apple website still worth it. Perfect entry level Mac here. Okay, perfect. If you're someone who is maybe tired of uh, building a hack and tosh and you don't want to deal with like you know building a pc then install hackintosh and then maybe your iMessage facetime not working or you know you just just you just don't want to tweak around you just want something just plug and play you can't go wrong with this mac mini okay like i said cpu wise storage wise this mac mini is a boss faster than my ryzen torch right here now mind you, uh, my Ryzen Torch build costed me around $700 with a Ryzen 5 uh, 3600 CPU and this Mac Mini goes for around $600. So, hey, you, you don't feel like building a Hacken Torch? Go with this Mac Mini M1 model right here. But keep in mind, make sure you get the right hardware for your workflow so if you are someone who stream who game you know then this mac mini is not for you then you need a custom built pc because you can add a graphics card you know maybe you can upgrade the cpu you can add more ramps you can add more storage the biggest downside with this mac mini right here you can't upgrade anything nothing okay if you get an 8 gig model, that's all you got. 8 gig. That's it. All right. I also want to talk about the rear IO. If you're planning on buying this Mac Mini, you guys can see the IO right here. Okay. So you guys can see what this Mac Mini comes with. All right. Uh, this Mac Mini comes with two USB uh, Type C, comes with one uh, HDMI 2.0 and two USB type A. Now, I actually need at least five uh, USB type A, okay? Uh, two uh, display output, so I need like two HDMI or one HDMI or one display port. Now, I can get an adapter and run another display from the USB type C, it's okay, but I need to buy another adapter. So, if you're planning on buying this Mac mini, make sure you buy another USB hub or something and uh, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link in the video's description I like this hub uh, uh, same size of this Mac mini I'll leave a link in the video's description you guys can check out I think it goes for around 60 or 70 dollars if you guys want me to get that hub and also review let me know now today's video is just a simple talking head video basically sharing with you guys my thoughts on this Mac mini. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more content, okay, coming, okay. I will make a lot more videos on this Mac mini. I'm not selling this Mac mini. I will use this Mac mini for maybe, you know, like my dedicated uh, video editing uh, purpose. And uh, maybe I will have another setup. I will have another DAX right here where I will have this Mac Mini set up with a, a nice uh, monitor. So yeah, I'm not getting rid of this Mac Mini. I love this Mac Mini, uh, but I can't use this Mac Mini for my main work purpose because I need a lot of thing. Okay, and this Mac Mini uh, actually is not perfect fit for myself but maybe this mac mini is perfect fit for you all right guys that should be it let me know what do you guys think i know today's video was a bit boring because i'm just keep talking but um real quick i just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and basically give you guys my honest opinion what i think about this mac mini okay i'm not trying to gain like thousand like uh by saying this mac mini is the best best just buy it no no you guys need to know the real fact Okay?
Hope you guys did like this video. If you guys did like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more content on this Mac Mini versus my AMD and Intel PCs. See you guys next one. Peace. Thank you.